Hello and welcome to my next ITSL game, this time against Drew Dugan from New York. And let's see where it leads. I'm not a fan of this hand. If I get purged, this doesn't really look good. Otherwise, this doesn't look good as well because five year plan is my best headline. And this says a lot about my hand to my opponent. <laughs> but the good things are that I control several unpleasant cards so I can play avoid socialist governments. I must get rid of Korean War soon, so I have to do it anyway. I can hopefully space Arab Israel War, discard this out the blockade, get rid of Comic Cons. Okay, this is a hand like mm, uh, I'll have to buy peace of mind for the remaining of the game, but this peace of mind is going to be costly. I mean, I have a lot of negative interaction with myself and I must hope for lucky rolls for example with Korean War it's very important that he doesn't roll high oh ouch uh, this was very unlucky indeed I'm glad he didn't purge me at first place, but now that he rolled a six, hmm. this is what I used to play sometimes. And when I rolled a six and won a game, Yuri Golomako used to say that I should have forfeited because it's undeserved, because cooing Italy is objectively a bad move, although it sometimes turns out to pay off. I also lost Korean War, but at least I got rid of this one. Hmm. So now... It's quite unclear for me where should I play. I think I'm losing Europe, but not entirely. I mean, he's going to dominate, but he's probably not going to have West Germany. Okay, but he's playing the China card or he's passing one action round. Hmm. Uh, that's somewhat worse. All right. Let's make him a little worried about some elsewhere. Hmm. No Marshall plan so far. I don't think I'll able to conveniently attack Italy for Truman preparation. I mean this turn it's quite impossible for me to contest Italy at all. So next turn depends too much on drawing Truman. I also don't like the fact that we are probably emptying 
our hands both because this is going to come on another six for a coup as this is going uh, to put more cards into the redraw lists going okay then in this case let's go all in here probably I'm even able to play Arab Israeli war not necessarily spacing it uh, but the problem is that the best I could do with it is to cool a banner. He's keeping Defcon quite high and I don't have too good targets. He's, no, he's not last card. It's the China card. All right, so I'm not going to attack Italy any longer. Let's try to be the first in space in this case. Okay, West Germany is quite protected. Ah, he had this. Mm -hmm. Why then? Let's try to cool a banner. I'm not really happy that he got rid of CIA. This explains his safe play around DEFCON. So it, it's not going to be easy to contest Europe. I can play into Canada, but that's all. So I can only hope it comes at turn three and then doesn't come back any time soon. Hmm. <clears throat> annoying, annoying rolls. Hmm, let's grab Laban, finally. All right, so he may have Suez crisis, in which case special relationship is moot. I think defectors is quite a good play. Now wherever he coos I should have a counter and I assume he should coo because he doesn't want me to take a chance on Italy. So the goal is self-repairable except access to Algeria. Alright, Suez crisis defected. I'm quite glad that it went this way. Uh, Truman should probably go to the reshuffle. As a hold card, I'm thinking about Fido. Hmm. Hmm. 
will be expander. And the last coup belongs to him, of course. Provided he attempts it. If he doesn't, I'll start walking to Thailand. And with the help of the China card, I should be able to take advantage of this. Unless, of course, he plays Deco right now. If he doesn't, instead he takes Pakistan with uh, an over control. That doesn't really bother me. Let's make our walk. <laughs> At the end of the day, if I'm able to Just play with Vietnam revolts and ignore the fact that it's triggered. I think I'm happy enough. On the other hand, maybe I should just use the power of the China card and don't forget about DEFCON it's at 3 so if he doesn't go anywhere oh he does so no more ifs and it's nice to see his coup failing very nice I would say so Yeah, let's play the China card. And fortify, maybe not here. Yeah, let's take a bunch of those. Now, of course, if I decide to play Vietnam Revolts, uh, it's quite necessary to put one more in Thailand, because he gets access there. It's flippable with the China card. It's probably wise to do it anyway, because of Deco. Europe scoring couldn't be helped. All right, then. So if we're walking like this, I'm playing Truman, I will probably hold the goal because I don't have time to self-repair it. So, I will play Vietnam Revolts and boost Thailand probably only once. I mean, Truman to Zaire and then Vietnam Revolts to Thailand and Colombia. I'm holding Fido and the Go. Middle East is quite well said, hmm, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. All right, then I have to change my plans. Very unfortunately for me, he had Deco. Q 
quite fortunately for me Asia should be secure and he may have tough time and I don't like this move I think he should have certainly gone to Syria because he doesn't have presence on the Middle East and this is costly Algeria could wait, but oh, that's yet another poor hand. Very poor, I would say, but it's not too late to play Marshall still. He doesn't know about these three blue cards in my hand. Uh, he has Indo-Pakistani war. He also has no rat, he might be hesitant to play it. With the boost of Marshall, it's going to be easier for me to handle the goal. We shouldn't forget about containment. It should be quite manageable also. To stop his European domination, unfortunately, not before the next action round is completed by me. So if he has Euro scoring, he may play it now, just for the price of letting me cooing. Uh, two military operations gained by him, two more victory points gained by him. I expect him to coup Libya now. Oh yes, of course. Of course. A heavy card. Not so heavy roll, he didn't need one. All right, this is equalizing. I need more than that due to Romanian application in my hand. The problem with my hand again is that it's extremely cheap. Truman is useless, but at least it can go for a reshuffle and be a threat for light war. Fidel is spaceable. Defectors at least is a point for me. Hmm. So much about my advantage in Middle East. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, go to space, my not so good friend. Oh. I'm not saying. I was the luckier player by so far, but I was lucky enough to end up early war with a map and victory point which could be described using the word survivable. Oh. 
I assume he's going to dominate Middle East, and I assume there's not much I could do about it. But let's at least attempt to do something about it and take Israel. And if you have Arab-Israeli war now and play it and win it, I'll be very unhappy to see it. Because now Arab-Israeli war is won by at 6 only. Once I secure Israel, it's won on 7 only. So, okay, I let you know that I don't have any scorings in my hand. I also have one one up card and one probably two up card because I assume he's going to play uh, containment on his last action round. Middle East scoring as expected. One, two, and three. So now that Middle East was scored, I could play Nasser. But I think I'd rather wait with it. Due to Arab-Israeli war, it's pain in the ass. Maybe it's even worth trying to space Nasser, assuming he plays containment. Just containment and Nora, if I remember well. If he plays Nora, my okay, containment. Mm -hmm. So I could. Actually, I could take immediate domination in South America. Shall we? Yeah, we shall. And let's do it this way. If he coos, it's even, or less anyway. Uh, socialist governments could bring the domination back to him anyway. And now I have access to Argentina. So, hmm. Central America scoring, not the one I wanted to draw. But, 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 but. If I play Cuban Missile Crisis, it should be very tough for him to get back here. Then I can play missile and before the event. And this missile and V should be very uh, safe because uh, only an unconditional degrader like oh. That's a great pleasure to see the headline right after my, my uncancelable Cuban Missile Crisis is triggered. So if he has duck and cover and doesn't have any four of card, Missile Envy is a losing move. Is it worth this risk? A very good question. And my hand is again much cheaper than I would like it to be. Hmm. Fidel is here. I wonder where Latin American 
uh, sorry, were, were liberation theologians. Or to form the question other way, should I go all in for Central America or not? Hmm. Now he's going more or less all in for Africa. I think I'll take this risk. because I don't have too much firepower to fight for Africa and this starts looking quite bad. So I could delay him a little, delay him a little or... or at least increase the number of operation points at my disposal. Because, okay, I have a US Japan Mutual Defense Pact, and so that's one for up. Uh, I also have um, OPEC, and that's quite unplayable. Now he's forced to play Missile NB, to which I can break Algeria and play Mexico, Guatemala. Then I could score Central America. Um, maybe could twice in the Ivory Coast uh, and so on okay why not Maybe I can start with cooing Ivory Coast. Well, of course, it depends on what he plays now. Too bad OPEC is unplayable, but mm, I can't give away three victory points like this. Okay, a one up. So I can coup Ivory Coast because I have to perform coups anyway. <clears throat> now he scores a five, I respond with a five. I also grab two more from Space Race due to captured Nazi. If I coup once more in the Ivory Coast, I'm grabbing two victory points from uh, military operations. Oh, he doesn't seem to have Africa scoring. No, he has Africa scoring and he wants to maximize the result. And I can't really afford it. So I must sacrifice Nasser. Mm. 
leaving Algeria vulnerable to realignment rules. I hope Nasser came timely enough so that it falls to Sadat or I get Camp David before Arab Israeli war is triggered with a sixth roll. Because it's very, very tough, of course I can help. I can still hope that he doesn't have Africa scoring and that he was just bluffing, just had nowhere else to play. All right, he certainly has Africa scoring, so I must sacrifice OPEC points. Hoping that he doesn't have more playable three of cards. Because if he does... Okay, but he doesn't get to 20 points. And the remaining regions are, let's say, my favor. I mean, Southeast Asia and Americas. The problem is that Americas are very vulnerable to changes, are very volatile. Yeah, the scoring was played. I had to play my points back. So, now I have a dilemma, because Allende gives him access to Chile, but uh, grabs me one more from BP and captured Nazi. Okay, let's play captured Nazi for these points. Anyway, hmm. Hmm. Uh, what do you play with such hat? I think you play brush war with a forty forty chance of Italy. And you hope to score a lot from South America with the help of Junta. And you also hope that finally your opponent's head is bad. Not too bad, unfortunately. Ah. And the roll against Italy was failed at 50-50. On the positive side, it is very possible to score at least 8 from South America. On the negative side, it is very possible to lose Asia dramatically. Hmm. 
I got a coup and I think special relationship is of no better use than that. He still holds Norad, isn't he? It's very hard for me now to contest Asia as a whole. Quite easier to contest Southeast Asia. Okay, okay. He has Southeast. Uh, I don't like the Afghanistan move, it was premature. But I get it. He has Southeast Asia. So I control Quagmire. Therefore, I'm not losing Norad too soon. I'll try to maximize South America scoring with the help of Junta, of course. I mean, if he coos Colombia now. Junta and Riku in Colombia is just a respond. And I think I like I want to event on it. Hmm. Quite strange. That was quite strange. So, uh, the China card should probably now work as a generic follow up card. One, two, three. And I think the fourth pop to Chile is quite decent as an option. I mean, sooner or later I'll probably have to play Allende. Junta serves now a purely defensive role. Oh, yes, for a coup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, let's make I end up a hundred percent free play and let's play South America when it scores what it can't possibly exceed. Alliance for Progress, where are you? My 6 BP card, easily to be a 7 BP card. I think he misplayed Americas. He really should have 
could there because uh, he was cut off any other access gainers. As of my hand, I'm probably holding Junta and Allende. Too bad I missed the roll. I mean, I still can uh, play two of cards in space, but I'd rather see what he has than be able to do such things. I really hope he doesn't throw salt negotiations. Now the problem is that the remaining scorings are Europe, Asia, Southeast Asia, and I don't see the way to make any of them favorable for me. Middle East depends strongly on who gets Muslim revolution. Okay, Usuri can play an important role as well. Yeah, we didn't see any China card flippings, flippers so far. And the China card is quite heavily played, so maybe there's not gonna be a reshuffle. Hmm. Big spender we are. <laughs> That's where being free with Allende makes sense. So I think our man it is for the last action round. Yeah, socialist governments can still be looming around. Nuclear subs. Thirty-three cards. Long gunman, three scorings, we will bury you. Yeah, let's play it. Ignore nuclear subs. Muslim discarded, socialist governments discarded. Distal discarded. Okay, so th this was a good throw, although increasing chance of drawing unpleasant scorings, of course. Hmm. And now, does he have any hand cutters? I don't think so. So let's hope for this long gunman. So, Preshnev Doctrine, the last card to be played. I'm glad I drew one small step. 
I'm not happy about Arab-Israeli war. Maybe I can just space it. <laughs> oh, wait. It's moot because uh, Arab-Israeli war is unwinnable by him right now. So if he performs any coup, I will probably take France. Ooh. What a strong coup it was. So, I'm giving up Usuri. Arab-Israeli war is something I could play at any moment. It only gives him two victory points. Sorry, two military operations. Okay, this was played, this was painful. And I don't think it matters ever. My hold card is obviously long gunman. So, let's go it. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> of course, it's very good if I'm able to hold the junta. But I doubt that I am. Why not? All right. Now, right once more. This is the Junta time. Brazil at plus two, and Argentina at plus one. Argentina remained untouched. Brazil regained. Okay. Not great, not terrible. S South African unrest to space because I want to pick a headline anyway and I don't want to discard twice for Kennedy anyway. And now I may feel some pain that I had played Allende, because even if I clear Argentina, he gets a way back. Plus, if he plays Thatcher, it's legal for him to put Ops into Argentina. Without Chile at SNC, he wouldn't, he couldn't, because one point from Thatcher would be in Argentina, but he wouldn't be able to 
play it because he wouldn't be present there prior to event. I don't think eventing it was worth. Uh, I mean, assuming I clear Argentina in the scenario where he doesn't have access to Chile. Uh, now, let's space it anyway. It may turn out important at some point. And that he has this one country fuel, I mean Botswana. Mm, 15 cards we're drawing. Okay, so we probably are going to have a reshuffle. Unless he plays the China card and plays Salt for an event, perhaps, and doesn't play Kennedy. Preparing for the Pope. All right, one more attempt. This time succeeded. So I have two realignment targets prepared at plus one each. Maybe this helps. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the worst, although losing influence when we're holding plus one is always annoying. If this was an attempt against Chile with empty Argentina, I lose four. Well, realignments at their finest. Hmm. Yeah. All right, you're scoring. We will bury you with you an intervention. But most importantly, I see his headline. He has Kennedy. If I play colonial rare guards, Maybe he is not going to, excuse me for a while, never mind, I was goofing around with my pen and I lost it. Okay, if I play Colonial Rare Guards, maybe he is not cooing, and then I can play We Will Bury You, followed up with you and intervened Long Gunman, so saving victory points, And being able to take advantage of Nova carefully, carefully.
If I take a bunch in Africa and threaten Indonesia, he doesn't have a good coup target in Africa particularly. Of course, I have to be extremely careful with this hand because I have two death con suicide cards. And I would really very much want to enlist the services of Mr. Kennedy because I would really like to hold East European unrest, even for the price of playing you an intervention. For op. But of course, the priorities are the priorities. I'd like to play puppet governments and use it in battlegrounds. There are two empty battlegrounds here, a rarity at this stage of the game, but probably I can't do it. Mm -hmm. So, influence, yeah. <coughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where can the Nora be precious? Argentina, I assume. But Algeria seems more important here. Both Argentina and Mexico uh, are vulnerable to realignments on my side. My next move is even intervening lone gunman, unless of course I get quagmire or so. And you and intervened long gun man is probably going to coup something like Saran states. But maybe not. Maybe it's realigning or just placing influence. That's not a very easy play for him. Yeah, there was a shuffle. That's not a very easy play for him.
on the negative side, uh, I'm positive that uh, I won't be able to hold East European unrest. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, so I think this is it at anyway. Now, puppet governments. <laughs> Not too many great targets for you. Uh, but I can always take a bunch of ones in Africa. Maybe. Maybe visit Peru. This equalizes Africa. Is Peru useful? Or is Paraguay more useful? Or maybe an African country is useful. Very hard to say. what can be useful here all right let's not be too greedy paraguay is more useful than peru because um, i don't really need to turn 5-2 into 5-0 in chile okay it gives him access to argentina but it's quite hard to cut his access off argentina entirely anyway now let me focus his attention on some stupid coups in Africa with the usage of um, cars that get better and better for me. I'm surprised that he played Nixon and gave me the China card. It followed uh, Camp David Accords. It doesn't look like he has good cards. So I would probably play the China card to just avoid one more card. But well, that's me. And so negotiations for a coup. Uh, <laughs> annoyingly enough, his coups are decent. So maybe a direct ops war is the correct answer to all my problems. I certainly don't want to just ignore Africa. Because I'm dangerously close to the war games threshold. I still lack one victory, one military operation. I still have Europe scoring, which gives him one victory point. I don't have good space race candidates, so these 
three victory points are currently unavailable for me. Southeast Asia is even and just played. All right, no more fighting for Europe. So let's turn Africa a little better. Now a scoring and a coup. It's really waiting very long with John Kennedy. A coup may come first actually and I think Zimbabwe is the target. Or not, wait a second. In Zimbabwe I need to roll a three. To deny his control and a four to control it myself. In Ivory Coast I need a three to deny his control, so that's basically the same. Mm. All right. I got a six and now I dominate Africa. I think he should address it somehow. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to give him this one victory point without a need. Duck and cover. Hmm. Could be worse, could be better. But it's not so bad to throw a three ops card instead of a scoring, uh, which uh, was at 1vp in favor of the opponent. So whatever damage he does in Africa, I'll try to repair it. Or not. Okay, so let's boost here. And let's break Argentina, why not? Now if he coos anything in South America doesn't it doesn't give him anything like uh, he's not equalizing it. I got war games and I got Africa scoring when Africa scores in my favor. So I'm quite glad to see it. Evil Empire may be very useful followed up with Indo-Pakistani war, although Indo-Pakistani war doesn't offer good chances. Glass must be for reformer. Okay, not a bad hand. But he may mess up with it, I feel it. Mm. Holding with war games may be worth the effort. Because if I happen to score Africa, grab six from socialist governments and arms racing total, grab one more from Reagan bombs Libya. Hmm. Hmm. Damn it. All right. What else? 
What else? So I mean holding war games looks like like a good idea anyway. All right, so I don't get Argentina this time. Don't even have two good targets for no rat. Paraguay looks like a good target for future realignments. Uh, uh, but now that it's more or less free to play, let's play Glasnos and And what should I do with this Glasnost? I mean, the best I could coup is Zaire. I don't really want to coup Libya now. I could coup Argentina, but... Hmm. This... This is not convincing. All right, Glasnost, Evil Empire for an event, Indo-Pakistani War in India, and then let's have a look at him, whether he allows me to score arms race or not. No rat once again to Angola or elsewhere. I think to Poland this time. <laughs> All right. When it comes to the final scoring, I feel that the map is going to be quite good for me. But this is, this time this red scar really sucks. Real line. Good call. Not good enough to stop my domination in Africa though. And it's quite it's a little late as of Africa. All right, so let's get rid of flower power and earn one victory point. There was a game changer in this game already. It was a six he had drove in Italy. Time for my game changer. A six in India. Please.
and it would be a game changer indeed. A 2vp swing and Asia swing. But I know, I know, it's only 16.7% chance. Hmm. Ow. All right. So much about my arms race points. The good thing is that now unless there comes a Warsaw Pact, which I had discarded from his hand in the very first turn with five-year plan. Okay, so... Um, I could try to play the China card and hold both both arms race and war games. But whether it makes sense or not is another story. <laughs> oh, he has alliance for progress. I assume and he's regaining the whole Africa let's try this come on come on now damn it Decolonization for realignment. Well, that's a rarity. No need to hold this one. I can't help wondering. Why he cares so much about the region that's already been scored? Hmm. That's a good question. America. Uh. No, I won't be playing the China card because if I get Ortiga and all rechains, well, unnecessary risk. Maybe he plays Thatcher to boost Argentina and then I can play socialist governments freely. If he doesn't, oh well. I could always count on some good scorings followed up with war games triggered by Star Wars. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not complaining. about this and I am going to be complaining about what the hell oh damn it Oh, damn it. Okay, then. Let's grab victory points as they are still available. Take it all. Oh, a high dollar we are. Okay, he left Defcon at three. And I think I'll risk with the China card simply because uh, my hand is too crappy. No, not at this stage of the game. Such a role. Why? Right, let's calm down. Serious crisis. This is self repairable at worst. Mm. To France, to Israel. I play 1 1. Okay. Mm. First, Arab Israeli war. One Haiti. And one for over controlling France. Making Sewas Crisis even more self repairable. Marine Barracks bombing. Hmm. Lebanon could hurt. Uh, and he got Asia, this is hurtful as well. Okay, let's try to space, and it was successful, so I grabbed some points at least. But Marine Barracks bombing at least have uh, one advantage, namely his best target is Iran. Now. If he targets Iran, indeed, Ooh. 
this was without effect. Uh, then Iranian hostage crisis stops being mm, so impactful. So let's resolve this event first. Unfortunately, he targeted Egypt. I'm gonna hold pistol and Iranian hostage crisis this case. North Sea oil to spaceways, okay. All right, let's resolve this event first. Repair, repair, boost. I'm boosting Brazil because uh, he probably gets a battleground coup next turn. And South America is the obvious target. Now, Venezuela is slightly worse because uh, I have plus one to realign back. But after his chair, Uruguay is red. and problematic for oh well in this case i try Regain. Zaire. Why the hell I keep rolling badly when it really matters? Very fortunately for me, he also failed this one. Uh -huh. All right, so my last play is that and I for nothing. Middle East scoring, tear down this wall, Star Wars. Oh, I wonder whether... No, of course I can't. I have Ortiga. All three times remix. Hmm. <sighs> now.
I think I must play Star Wars. and Grapsal Negotiations. <sighs> okay. Because then he discards Usuri, for example. And I'm stuck with Ortiga, so I'm headlining Star Wars. Okay, so sold negotiations. And hmm. Yeah, and what? <laughs> Maybe IBM treaty. Going all in for Europe doesn't seem valid. Let's resolve the event first. I should be able to use IBM Treaty. and use the power of DEFCON twice. Now let's attempt this coup in Nigeria. And that was a very fortunate role for me. No rot, no rot. Of course, Italy. And of course, one small step goes to Brazil. Former event. Oh, oh, oh. Foof, foof, foof.
firmness. I hate what it did. But at least now I can realign Italy, and if it goes, it goes. If it doesn't, oh well. It doesn't. Not my luckiest day. But some things are still quite manageable. And now, what about this final scoring? I should be leading heavily. Asia is my point of concern, but I'm leading in America and or so. Uh, let's try to grab more here. Quite a good result as for salt. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't see any danger in Europe. OPEC is now a one point worth free card. Oh, and he had South America scoring. This was quite lucky. Um, so East Germany, because now I threaten to dominate Europe with Iranian hostage crisis on my very last move of the game. He must play his moves in 50 seconds. And after a very heavy battle, battle, I'm probably winning this game in the final scoring, but let's just wait for this to come, shall we? And this was a very nice move of him, because, because now I shouldn't play Iranian hostage crisis. On the other hand, if I play it and just put one in Libya to equalize Middle East and break Poland, it's probably the best I can do. I don't want to play distal because it leaves too much in his hand. I mean, it's probably irrelevant and he is not in a position to make a good decision because too few time. But let's do it this way instead. and just be on the secure side, I guess. So, 
thank you for watching and see you next time. I'd say it's was quite an exciting game.